Hi students, um, so this week we are going to be doing a cardboard challenge and um, the basic of it is uh, in addition to the normal kind of finishing our last week with Prodigy or Khan Academy, uh, working on our reading assignment, um, doing your regular reading and your writer's workshop, um, I'd like to do something fun and something that inv involves uh, a little bit of math and maybe some geometry but also uh, some art and engineering and making things with cardboard. Um, so um, I'm going to be giving you ideas of things and inspiration of things that you can work on during the week. Um, you can also come up with your own ideas and inventions. Uh, so don't feel like you have to be limited by uh, what I am showing you. Um, today I have a quick challenge for you that's kind of fun uh, that I discovered. It's called a wobbler. And uh, here is a video of that. Um, so, uh, give your hand, give, give a shot at, uh, trying to make your wobbler. Uh, you can decorate them. So this one's, uh, plain and simple, but you, you could paint it, you could add different colors. Uh, you can make a couple of them and challenge your siblings or people to a race, uh, make a racetrack for it, uh, whatever sounds fun. Um, and those are kind of cool toy to play with. Um, another thing that I'd like to share with you is a little bit more, uh, challenging, um, and this is a this is a kind of professional model out of paper uh, that I made uh, from a kit. Um, it's kind of the idea of what we're what, what I'm talking about. Um, so here has a little turning wheel, and if I turn the wheel, uh, so what's going on is underneath. Uh, you can see that there is. Um, kind of a crank system going on there. And on this side, there has a support system for the shaft. Um, so these have different names. Um, I got this one from a book called Karakuri, and it's mechanical paper models. Um, and uh, this bear is pretty complicated, um, but there are some really simple ones that we can do. Um, so. This is another model from the same book, but it's the basic, um, if you look at this part, you're gonna notice that it is going up and down. Ooh, if I can get it to work. Oh, there we go, go the right direction. Okay, so it goes up and down. Okay, now how's that working? So if you look in this, inside the shaft, you can see that the idea is pretty simple. All it is is a circle with that raised part, and then as it turns over, it falls down. Okay. Um, there is a support shaft here. There's this other paper shaft. These could be circles. They could be made out of cardboard. They could be made out of paper. Um, this shaft in here could be made out of like a wooden skewer or a pencil or something. And um, by itself, this is kind of cool, but um, really the fun part is inventing some kind of idea that would go with it. So here I have an idea for like uh, a miner, and I might want to stick this on here somehow, and let's see if I can remember, have this go up and down and create kind of a scene. So that's the idea behind uh, these kind of mechanical models. Um, I'll be posting some more information about that tomorrow. Um, here's another one. Okay, this one is so a dragon, and when I twist it, when I move the um, the gears, the dragon kind of moves. And if you look in the gears here, lots of different things going on here. Um, 
So that's, if, if you're looking for a more complex project, I'm going to give you some ideas for building one of these. You, today you could get started on, um, you know, what kind of, what kind of thing, you know, probably the easiest one to start with is this basic model uh, that just goes up and down. So what is some kind of uh, idea or theme that you would like to make something go up and down to uh, create a kind of a, a, a mechanical image that moves? Uh, so be thinking of that, and then I'll be giving you some ideas about how to uh, construct this using easy to find materials at home. Um, so again, this is our cardboard challenge. Uh, I've already posted some ideas that uh, kind of uh, list of all the options. Those are things that you could be working on. So if something there inspires you, you could go ahead and get started on that. Um, the plan is to share these on Friday on our last day of school and see what you come up with. So um, have fun with it and see if you can get inspired and work hard and we'll share on Friday. And I look forward to seeing what you can do.